So a huge congratulations on getting your brand new ASUS ROG Ally. I've played on my Ally almost every day for hours over these past six months since getting mine on launch day. And I know you'll have so many incredible hours of gaming on yours too. So whether you got your Ally today on Christmas day as a present or at some point during the year, here are the seven crucial things that you need to do first on your brand new RG Ally to get you up and running, including one that I use all the time. So let's dive straight in and the first thing you should absolutely do after unboxing your Ally is setting it up and optimizing it correctly. The Ally uses Windows 11 which absolutely is not designed for a handheld gaming PC. With the fact that it comes preloaded with Microsoft Office making this abundantly clear. What? I've done a whole dedicated video to the 7 essential steps to set up and optimize your ally. Link in the description. So very carefully go through each and every step like making sure your ally is up to date. An extra step that I didn't include in that tutorial but I learned the hard way is to go into Windows Update section in settings and set the get latest updates as soon as they're available option to off as these often conflict with the ally, like I documented in this vid here. And if you want some comedy entertainment value at my expense, link is in the description. Uh. Guys, some weird stuff is happening with my RG ally. The second thing now you're all optimized and set up is getting used to army crate and command center. These are designed by Asus and they take away so much of the pain and frustration that come with using Windows 11. And Asus have done an incredible job over these past 6 months in updating these with gyro controls, eliminating dead zones on our joysticks and so much more. It's here that you can reassign buttons to better suit your needs and definitely spend some time in organizing the command center buttons to get them exactly how you like it. One of the very best features of Command Center that got a huge update just the other week is the real-time monitor feature, which is so useful for checking in on battery life and performance levels. The third thing is to consider buying some accessories for your brand new Ally. I've just done a recent video showing all the accessories I use with my Ally every single day. Again, link in the description. But the three that I would definitely consider are absolute must-haves is a really solid Ally-specific case like mine here, this anchor power cable and plug which I keep near my bed, and the official Ally adapter on my couch downstairs, and a portable battery charger like this one here which gives me an extra three hours of juice on the Ally when I'm away from home. At 4 is one of the main reasons I'm sure that most of us have got the ally, which is emulation. Which means reliving our classic childhood gaming memories by playing retro games. Now you can individually install these retro consoles which are called emulators, but a much easier and simpler way is by using an app called Emideck that I've covered in a tutorial, vid link in description, which is incredible as it does all of the hard work for us. These retro games in emulation terminology are called ROMs, which you may be able to find online. And there you go, many hours of nostalgia, which longtime viewers of the channel know that for me, my absolute favourite retro console is the Super Nintendo. If you're seriously into emulation and want to avoid the many hours of trying to locate these old retro games, then you may want to consider this emulation accessory I've covered on the channel, packed with 2 terabytes of classic retro games, purchase link in the description. The fifth thing that you should do is to set up remote play if you have a PS4, PS5 or Xbox console. This is super easy to do for Xbox as simply head into the official Xbox app, click on this icon right here and voila, start remote playing to your Xbox console. For PS4 and PS5 you can use the official PS Remote Play app but this has one huge limitation, check that video out here on the channel to find out why. The best way is using an incredible app called Chiaki, which does require a little bit of setting up in my tutorial vid, link in the description. But when you're up and running, remote playing from our PS4 or PS5 is living the dream. So much so that in my latest vid, I show that it's actually better streaming quality and less latency than even the PlayStation Portal, which is insane. 
By the way, if you're finding this helpful, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on any great RG Ally content. You guys are awesome. At 6 is trying out Xbox Game Pass on the Ally, which really is the closest we'll ever get to a Netflix of gaming. You can cloud stream these games, but for the very best experience, the Ally offers a feature that the amazing Steam Deck cannot, which is the ability to install any of these games natively onto the device, which is the absolute best way to experience all of these fantastic Game Pass games. And finally, the seventh thing is just to explore and have fun with the Ally. There's so much that the Ally is capable of, such as installing your favorite game launches like Epic, which are offering a free game every day over Christmas, or playing the Switch games that you own on the Ally using an app called Yuzu that I've covered in this video, link in description. I love the Ally so much, in fact, that it's the focus of this very channel, and you can find so many tutorials right here, so take your time and just enjoy the experience. I'd love to hear the first things that you're enjoying the most about your new ally and if you've had your ally for quite a while then what tips would you offer to brand new purchases of the device let us know in the comments and as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video i'd love to share this awesome quote 2024 can be completely different for you you can be in a different space mentally spiritually and financially keep working and believing in yourself if this year of 2023 has been pretty rough and difficult for you, then have the faith to believe that so many greater things are coming in 2024, so stay encouraged today guys. And check this video out if you want to see why it's better to just stick to using Chiaki than the brand new PlayStation Portal. I appreciate every single one of you for watching, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one.